What is going on, Yankee fans? It is New York Sports Up here, and I am back at it with a, another New York Yankees video. And in this video, we're going to talk about today's game between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets at Yankee Stadium, game one of the Subway Series in the Bronx, and another terrible game for the Yankees. But before I get into this disgraceful team, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it because it helps me from the pain of this Yankees team. Uh, I really would appreciate a like because uh, this team... All they give me is just pain, misery, suffering. And that's all That's all they give Yankee fans in general. So I would appreciate it if you drop a like and hit that subscribe button. So let's get into this video. So Yankees lose 8-3. to three. Uh, I'll sum it up pretty quickly. They had a, they were getting no hit through five innings. Their first hit came in the sixth inning, which was on a Aaron Judge home run, who was the only good hitter on this team. Well, no, he's not the only good hitter. But he's the only hitter that has um, that really cares about winning. Uh, he hit a home run, and that was the first Yankees hit of the game in the sixth inning, or the fifth inning, whatever it was. Jordan Montgomery, you know, wasn't terrible, but he kind of imploded in that, what, fourth inning? You know, he had the bases loaded with one out and uh, gave up that hit to McCann. Um, you know, he gave up too many hits in this game. He put too many guys on base. I didn't think he was completely terrible. He didn't completely implode, but uh, he, he's, he definitely didn't really pitch all that well. He didn't give us very, you know, much length in this game like I thought he would, so... I'm kind of disappointed in his performance. He didn't really pitch all that well. Uh, as for the bullpen, Michael King did a great job out of the pen. He should be a reliever for this team, but since Kluber and Severino are out, he's got to be a starter. And, well, since he pitched today, he's not going to start game two of the doubleheader. So that that just sounds great. But Michael King um, didn't uh, pitch out of the bullpen, did a really good job. Uh, Licky came in, threw, made that through that wild pitch, a, ba a bad wild pitch. You, you can't throw a wild pitch there if you get out of the inning. You know, only giving up one run, uh, that would have been a blessing because, you know, you put a guy on base, you hit home run, just like that, the game's tied. But he throws a wild pitch and makes it 3 nothing. And after that wild pitch was thrown, I knew the Yankees did not have a chance of winning this game because a lead that's bigger than two runs for the opponent is, uh, it's too much to come back for the Yankees. So, uh, you know, wild pitch made it 3 nothing, and then, for some odd reason, Justin Wilson came into the game. And I, I, I gotta say, Justin Wilson might be the worst reliever I have ever ever laid eyes on as a Yankee fan. This guy is absolute garbage. He didn't even record an out. He gave up like three and runs, did not record an out. He walked in a batter. He was giving up singles and doubles left and right. This guy is a complete pitching machine. You want, you want batting practice. Well, Justin Wilson should be that guy. If you want, if the Mets want to serve up batting practice, Justin Wilson should be the guy you want in the game. He, he should be the guy throwing batting practice for them before the game. Justin Wilson should be that guy. He sucks. He is one of that is one of the worst contracts I've ever seen for a reliever since a Rodas Chapman. Justin Wilson is garbage. Garbage. I, I've seen a lot of bad Yankee relievers in my time as a Yankee fan. I've seen Tyler Clippard. I've seen guys like that. I've seen, you know, Nick Nelson. I've seen Brooks Krisky. I've seen some bad relievers. This guy might be the worst. This guy is absolute trash. And this was a guy we're paying a decent amount of money, and he sucks. He doesn't record an out. He was terrible on the mound. Rant over. I'm, I'm done ranting about him, but he's trash. He's absolute garbage. He had, he forced the Yankees to waste our Game 2 starter for tomorrow. We Michael King can't start anymore. I don't know who's going to start Game 2. It's probably going to be a bullpen day, so now the bullpen's going to be tired. So that's just great. It gets worse for the Yankees. Thanks a lot, Justin Wilson. You had to waste our starter for Game 2. Thanks a lot, bud. He was garbage on the mound. I, I I can't even describe how pathetic that was. He was terrible. Um, offense was garbage. Three runs. They all came in the same inning. The offense was absolutely careless. They didn't care about winning this game. They, they don't have any fight uh, in their bones at all. They, they didn't really try to win this game. When they were down 3 nothing. you know, you cut the lead in half just like that. You're right back in it, and you give your team energy to win. But no. Um, you know, not scoring forces Justin Wilson to come in the game. Whenever Justin Wilson's in, that's it's always going to be more runs for the opponents. So that pretty much put the game to bed. Uh, offense did absolutely nothing in this game. Three runs on three hits. I don't care about the the two runs single by Urshela. It was a bloop single that fell in. Who cares? Judge hit a home run in this game. He's the only guy that cares about winning on this team. He's the only hitter that cares about winning on this team. He hit a home run. Uh, good good to see from Judge. He's having a great year. He, he's going to start in the All-Star game. So congrats to him. But, uh, you know, he hit a home run. Urshela hit a two-run single. Those were the only hits we had in the game. Right? I, th I think so. We had three hits in this game, I believe. And they all came in the same inning. That's just absolutely pathetic. We couldn't touch Taiwan Walker today. And I, I understand Taiwan Walker's having himself a nice year, but I mean, the guy's getting paid $10 million. You should be able to score some more runs off that guy. 
and they didn't. They only scored three runs on three hits. Well, one run came off Walker, and two runs came off Miguel Castro. So, uh, just, a, just a horrible game for the offense. Another lifeless game for them. They didn't care about winning this game, so why should I really care about them? Uh, another disgraceful performance. Uh, the, the Mets fans now have bragging rights because they won game one of the Subway Series, and they, they will sweep the Yankees in this series, but they, I, there's no doubt in my mind the Yankees will. Well, the, the Mets will at least take two out of three in this series. Uh, the Mets are a much better team than the Yankees. The, the Mets were actually a team that was struggling coming in, and they come in and smack the Yankees around like a bunch of babies. Um, the Yankees are a complete dumpster fire, a complete laughing stock. They are a disgrace to the pinstripes. I've said this every video. They are a disgrace to this uniform. I'm not even that mad at this point. I'm not, because it's obvious they don't care. You watch the Yankees play. I mean, they're making errors. They're, they're very lazy. They don't really... It's, it's like long faces in the dugout. They don't care about winning. I bet even coming into this game, they didn't care about winning. You know, Monty gave you, what, like three scoreless innings to start or four scoreless innings or whatever, and the Yankees couldn't score any damn runs for them. That doesn't give your starting pitcher any you know, motivation to pitch well, it doesn't, you know, the, the offense can't score any damn runs, the offense was pitiful, uh, Monty, you know, had that one bad inning, I think it was the fifth inning, actually, had that one bad inning, but I, overall, I didn't think he was all that bad, but still had that one bad inning there that kind of ruined his start, um, he's still a good pitcher, but, you know, just kind of that one, you know, that one inning kind of just hurt him, um, Justin Wilson sucks, he should not see a single inning on this team, Justin Wilson, the only time he, sh he should be pitching, is when the Yankees are up 11 runs or down 11 runs. He should not be in the game if it's close. If it's relatively close, Justin Wilson should not be in the game because he is an absolute disgrace to pitching, uh, not even just to the Yankees. He's a, he's a disgrace to pitchers in general. Uh, he he absolutely blows. But uh, another lifeless performance by the Yankees. I can't believe that us fans really have to put up put up with this crap. Uh, every game they do this, it's not like they fought. I would respect it if they fought and just fell short, but they, they didn't even fight today. They didn't even fight. They, they put a horrible, horrible product on the field. They absolutely ruined my Saturday afternoon. They, they couldn't give me a nice win on a Saturday, but uh, that's not what the Yankees give you this year. The Yankees are, this is one of the worst teams I've ever watched in my life. This is the worst Yankees team I've ever seen in my entire life, and the 2016 team was pretty bad, but that was a team that had a lot of players that were just washed. You know, Brian McCann was washed. A-Rod was washed. You know, we had, like, Kel Carlos Beltran was washed. We had a lot of bad players on that team, you know. And, uh, you know, the Yankees didn't play well. Like, Ellsbury was washed. The Yankees weren't good that year, and they didn't make the playoffs. This team has the best roster in the American League, without a doubt. They were the favorites to win the American League, and they're a game over 500. That shows you how bad this team is. If the Yankees didn't have somewhat good starting pitching to start the year, the Yankees would probably be, like, what, eight or nine games under 500? They would be one of the worst teams in baseball. That is how bad this offense is. This offense is disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. You could score eight runs against the Angels because they have a horrible pitching staff when you face a good pitching team like the Mets. They don't score any runs. This offense is still terrible. I take back everything I said about what they did against the Angels. Oh, oh, so what? They scored, what, 19 runs in two games because the Angels pitching is probably the worst in baseball. When you face a real pitching, they're not going to score any runs. The Yankees are absolute garbage. Even if the Yankees did make the playoffs... They wouldn't have won anything anyway. This Yankees team can't beat any relevant teams. They can only beat up on the bad teams, and that's all we're going to see this year. I have never in my... Like I said in the last video, I have never, ever been more embarrassed to be a fan of this team. I've never been more embarrassed. Uh, we have no bragging rights as fans anymore. We used to have all the bragging rights. You know, back in the day... Well, I wasn't... You know, I was young, but... You know, Yankee fans back in the day you always used to have bragging rights about this team. We always used to, you know, rub it in the Mets fans' faces for them being the little brother and Red Sox fans for being the lovable losers before 2004. Yeah, that's what Yankee fans used to be. We used to be a, you know, a fan base that, you know, that was kind of on top of everyone else. And now we're just, now we're the, now we're the lovable losers. We, we've become the Wilpon era Mets. That's what the Yankees have become. The Yankees are absolute garbage. And I've never, again, like I said, I've never been more ashamed. I think all Yankee fans can agree with me. I have never, ever been more ashamed to root for this team. And in the comments, you want to write down the Yankees suck five million times in a row. If you want to write down Fire Cashman, Fire Boone, go right ahead. I I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll like the comment. I'll like the comment and I'll, I'll say the same thing back. I'll say the Yankees suck, Fire Boone, Fire Cashman. I, because I agree with you. I, I agree with anyone who thinks that. Brian Cashman and Aaron Boone should be long gone. They should be out the window. They are both horrible. Aaron Boone is an like awful manager. He doesn't seem frustrated at all. Even in his interviews, he's just kind of like moping, and you know, his head's down, but deep down, we know he isn't frustrated. He doesn't care. And Brian Cashman, I I'm so sick of this guy. This guy is the most overrated sports GM of all time. The only reason why Brian Cashman is considered a good general manager is because he has a lot of money. That's the only reason, because he's the GM of the Yankees. He was not the reason why we won in 2009. 
the GMs before him were the reason, and George Steinbrenner was the reason. Brian Cashman was not the reason. Hal Steinbrenner was not the reason. After this season, because it's obviously we're not making the playoffs, get Aaron Boone out of here. Get Brian Cashman out of here. Please, give us a somewhat decent product. I am so sick of this crap. I am so sick of it. And Yankee fans are also sick of it. Every fan is sick of it. We're so done watching this crap. If they fought, they lost. I'd still be upset, but at least they tried. The Yankees did not fight in this game. It's the Subway Series. You're supposed to be pumped up. You're supposed to try to beat the Mets because they're playing better than us, and the Yankees want to reclaim the city? Well, they didn't give a one shit about doing that in this game. I'm sorry for the language, but it, it, it just had to be said. They did not give one damn about being the big brother. They laid, they laid down for the Mets in this game. They laid down. They got their absolute ass spanked in this game. What a disgrace. Um, another horrible loss to the Mets of all teams, which is, which is always, which is always, which always sucks. But, uh, the Yankees are a game under 500, a game over 500. That's all, that's all Yankee fans need to know about this team. They are an absolute joke. And they have ruined this franchise. Hal Steinbrenner, you have ruined this franchise. And Brian Cashman has also ruined the once greatest franchise in all of sports. They have made the Yankees a laughingstock. Is Hal Steinbrenner still okay with the coaching staff we have? Is he, is he still okay with it? Is he still okay with having Marcus Timms as our hitting coach? You're okay with that, Hal Steinbrenner? You're an idiot. You're a clown. I, I'd like to see Hal, Cashman, and Boone. That's, uh, what? The Three Stooges right there. Hal, Boone, and Cashman. That's the Three Stooges, and they should all be gone. And uh, we got a doubleheader tomorrow, so 14 innings of misery tomorrow. I cannot wait for that. Thank God they're not nine innings, so we don't have to suffer all day, but, uh... I got a doubleheader tomorrow. I just hope we can win a game. That's what we've come to as fans. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for a Yankees video. Peace.